Welcome to On the Pitch, our weekly soccer show here on WOSN. We will take a look around the world of soccer here in West Central Ohio and hopefully be joined by a team each week as well. That week, this week, we have New Knoxville here in studio, so stay tuned for that. But first, let's take a look back at the week that was on the pitch. You saw this first game right here on WOSN. Fairlawn and Temple Christian, the WOSL opener. On Tuesday, scoreless in the first half, trying to change that DJ Graves making a run. Shoots saved by Temple keeper DJ Clay. Let's go to the second half now, still scoreless. Christian Angle plays it across to Cameron Worsham. He shoots and scores. Back left corner, accurate shot. 1-0, Temple takes the lead. Then we had a lightning delay, which changed the momentum a little because Fairlawn's Nate Lessing making a run through the middle, finds the back of the net. Pass the diving keeper, that ties it at one. And then less than five minutes later, Noah Brodigam attacking on the far side, boots it with his left, and that sneaks inside the post for a goal. And that was the difference in this game as Fairlawn defeats Temple two to one in that Western Ohio Soccer League opener. How about on Thursday, outside Spartan Stadium, they had some kindling ready for the bonfire prior to the football game. But before that, LCC and Botkins in a WOSL contest. First half, Trojans, Nolan Grieve gets a shot away. It's blocked and cleared away by Ryan Recker. T-Birds on the attack now. Alberto Bassoni plays it to the outside. Crossed in, Jimmy Kutka heads it towards goal. Christian Hopkins, the Botkins keeper, is there for the save. Other end now, Jacob Barnett possesses at the top of the 18. His shot rolls wide of the cage. We're still scoreless, but Bassoni is hoping to change that. The exchange shooter from Italy makes a couple of nice moves, shoots and scores. A very nice goal to give the T-Birds a 1-0 lead. Later, Bissoni attacking again, this time on the far side, cuts it back, shoots, nice save by Hoskins. LCC takes this one in a shutout, 4 to nothing. And how about Saturday, league girls action now, Lady Lancers hosting Van Wert in some non-league action. Lincoln views Julia Thatcher attacking the right side, she shoots. Sadie Zartman saves it, but it bounces off the post to Hannah McCleary, and she finds the back of the net. One to nothing, Lancers. McCleary just getting warmed up too. Works her way into the 18 and fires one into the left corner. That's her second goal of the game. How about Van Work on the attack now? Shylan Shepard with a scoring chance, but she can't get a shot away as Maddie Gorman comes out to grab it. And then later, Sydney Thatcher plays a ball through for Autumn Proctor. Proctor shoots but it's blocked in front by the goalkeeper's Artman. Ball is loose on the six, but it's eventually cleared away. And Lincoln View would go on to take this game. And how about our WOSN on the pitch player of the week? It's gotta be Hannah McCleary. She had a hat trick in the first half of this game. She scored 10 goals on the season for a Lady Lancer team. That is off to a pretty good start at 2-2-1. Two, two Welcome back inside the studio now. We are joined by the new Knoxville head coach, Mark Darness, on the end. And one of the uh, Ranger players, Ryan Allen, a senior here in the middle. And Ryan, let's start with you. How has the season been going so far? Must be exciting to be back in season and about a couple weeks in now. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, started off playing pretty good. Keep that, progressing. Trying better. to get better as you go along. And yeah. this is Coach Jarness's first season as coach with New Knox. So what do you like about playing for him? He's great. He really works us. He really puts us... It really puts us to the test. As he smiles right beside <laughs> you. You're not going to say anything stupid now. <laughs> Coach, you're, you're familiar with WOSN, call a bunch of games with us for this year, and you took the year off from coaching last year. How's it being back with this group at New Knoxville? It's good. It's good. It's, um, it's, it's, we're starting over. As far as I'm concerned, we're starting over. Uh, it's a good group of kids, uh, a lot of learning taking place, so I get an opportunity to really break it down and, and teach the game over again. So it's been a good time. And what did you see of them before the games got started, uh, before you were actually into play? Did you have some good practices with them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we did, uh, we did a one week and two days and then uh, broke off of that. Um, you know, what we have to watch is our work-to-rest ratio. Uh, we got 23 kids, 10, uh, 10 freshmen. Uh, we're running a JV schedule, so we're counting halves, and, and we've, we're pushing them, but we've got to allow them a certain amount of rest time, too. Ryan, have you felt that pressure and, and it's been a lot of work early on and it's from two days up until now and, and you guys don't have the deepest of teams. How, is that, how, how have you held up during that? Uh, pretty good. Uh, Numbers-wise, it's not really an issue for you. You just want to go out and play, yeah, right? Yeah, kind of stay on the pitch most of the games unless I really need a break. But yeah, usually just out there playing out. 
and you're a captain on this team. What are, what are some of the ways you're looking to help these? You mentioned you have 10 freshmen, so that's a lot of teaching you can do. Yeah, every game, every person gets better. Just try to tell them little things every game, little by little, get better. Coach, have you seen that out of Ryan uh, taking on a leadership role? Yeah, um, it's the both the captains have, have stepped up. Their their biggest thing is to push and stay positive on the pitch. I mean, we're going to have some challenges. We we play some WBL teams. Uh, we play a lot of Division two teams, and we're small, small D three. So we're going to get we're going to get our fair share of beatings. Uh, but uh, if our upperclassmen can can keep playing through, uh, stay positive, and work through regardless of the score then everybody's going to have an opportunity to get better, and, and uh, we'll keep growing. 0-3-1 oh, and and on the season right now. Started off with a tie against Bell Fountain and then had a tough loss to Spencerville. When was that? A couple of days ago now? Yeah, or, yeah, this Tuesday. What positives can you take away from the season so far? I, I think the kids understand what it's going to take to win. Uh, the Bell Fountain game was uh, a challenge. We, we, uh, we learned what it took to tie. Uh, and in the uh, Spencerville game, the last 15 minutes, we figured out what it's going to take to win. Although we, we gave them a pretty good start with two goals, uh, but we worked through that last 15, tied it up, and we had an opportunity to get, an, or get a goal, and then we had an opportunity to tie it. Um, I think it's just the light starting to flicker. Uh, the kids' legs are a little tired, but they're going to figure out how to play through that. It's an 80-minute match, and with our numbers, I've been playing with 12, 12 and a half kids on varsity. So, there's no shortage of playing time on game day, that's for sure. Yeah, that's great. They should be getting some great experience. Ryan, what's a highlight of this season so far for you, knowing it's your last season, you're a senior, so you got to be taking it in. What's, yeah. what's been a highlight for you so far? Uh, just having, like, a co-ed team. I think that's pretty cool that most of the girls can step up and say they're playing on a high school soccer team, not a club team or whatever. Yeah, that's absolutely great. Mark, that was something that we talked about as well. There's a lot of young girls who want to play too, and, and I'm sure they're looking up to these girls on the varsity being like, wow, they're playing with the boys. I can do that as well. Yeah, there's been a, a lot of positive response back. We've, uh, we've Even against playing against St. Mary's, I know a lot of those kids being the WBL and me formerly coaching in that league. Um, and there's been tons of positive response. Um, they're not backing down. And, uh, you know, there were some questions. Some of the gals were unsure, but most of them are like, yeah, I can play with these guys. I'm sure they have. The pace yeah. of the game is faster. It is more physical, but they're having a blast. And, and uh, I'm ecstatic just to have that opportunity to keep them coming and rolling through. And, and I've never been one to close the door on anybody. I'll take anybody to play. And uh, you come through our school system, hey, anybody's going to have that opportunity to play. Fantastic. Let's talk about the Western Ohio Soccer League, the new league. Mm -hmm. And you were there when it formed. I know you yeah. chat with Andy about it. Uh, how, what have you seen out of it so far? Has it been a success early on? I think so. It's, it's been, you know, there's a 2-1 a two, uh, two game with ours, another 2-1 game with uh, Temple and Fairlawn, um, LCC Bakken's. Um, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a great score for Bakken's side, right. but talking enough. with uh, Coach Lynch, you know, he just, they just didn't come. But if you look at this league as a whole, it's going to be nice. It's uh, three co-ed teams. Uh, all of us are small. Uh, it's going to be a real benefit for the kids just to have that league, and I think it's going to be really nice and competitive. Ryan, have you enjoyed playing against some other schools that maybe you're not used to? I mean, New Knoxville's in the MAC in, in most other sports, I believe. So this is kind of a change of pace for you, right? Yeah, it's pretty great. I don't know, uh, playing against like Troy Christian, I guess, you usually don't travel that far for right. basketball and stuff. So it's pretty fun going to play bigger schools, see what they got, all the talent they bring. It's pretty fun. All right, we'll quickly wrap up. What are some of the goals you have for the rest of the season, Ryan? Uh, definitely get better and start looking forward to tournament, making a good tournament run. And Mark, what would you say, where, where do you want to see this team in about a month, a month and a half? Oh, it would be great to get everybody lettered, 23, um, but uh, we'll see. I think the biggest thing is the same, is, is we're going to progress. Uh, the kids are still learning me, I'm still learning them. That's the hardest part. I've got 23 new faces I've got to right. learn. They've got one in the assistant coach, Mickey Grothaus and Alex Myers, you know. So, and we're pretty similar in some respects. Uh, but the biggest is just the growth, uh, develop. Uh, I've always been one not too worried about a league play, uh, but let's see how far we can get come tournament time. And uh, with the new sectional system, uh, being a super sectional, it should be pretty neat. We can even have some home games now that you're playing uh, upper seeds get to play at home. So the whole sectional thing is rather nice. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with us here on On The Pitch. Time for a break. When we come back, we'll talk with two more Ranger players.
Welcome back to On the Pitch, joined now by two more New Knoxville Rangers, Alex Lehman, the junior in the middle, and Courtney Peel, sophomore on the end. Alex, we'll start with you. How's the season been going for you? Sounds like you got a good group of guys and girls on this team. I think it's pretty exciting just because it's a co-ed team. I mean, I've never really played co-ed before. And how has that experience been different for you? Is, are you finding that some of the girls are tougher than you thought? They're proving that they can do a lot more than some of the guys, actually. And that's great. Courtney, how do you feel about that? That's a big compliment. Uh, yeah, it's really big. I mean, the guys support us. Uh, we go out. We act like that. We can do a lot. But, I mean, we can. Like, we don't take any crap from anyone. So. That's great. Do you have a sense of pride of being out there with the guys and really wanting to like maybe run them over or show them that you're not going to lay down? Yeah, I won't let no one boss me around. <laughs> That's great. How about Coach Derness? It seems like he's a great leader for you guys. What do you like about playing under him? I like him because he's similar to our last coach, uh, Tony Hunt. I mean, they both coach together. They both have similar coaching habits. Uh, and they're just both, they were just both great guys. I mean, they understand what you're doing, if you got any bumps, bruises, and they just help you get through it. That's great. They take care of you. Courtney, what's been a highlight of your season so far? I, only four, I think we've only played four games, four games in, but what's been a highlight for you? Uh, just knowing what we need to improve on. Uh, coach knows what we need to do to get better, rest, and that's, all, that's really what we need to do is to improve, and resting helps us improve. Alex, any games you're looking forward to in the new league, or is it all you're just, you'll play whoever's out there? I'm looking forward for Botkins. Botkins, and why is that? It's because last year we proved that we can beat them, and we've never beat them before in our school history, and it's just exciting to go back up against them again. Yeah, nice, nice. Courtney, how about you? What are you looking forward to the rest of the season? Uh, this is my first year in any high school sport, and I'm also looking forward to playing Botkins because I watched that game last year, so it was pretty good. You take them on at Botkins. September 25th, so that should be a great game. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Before you go, don't move. You're going to be witness to our first ever juggle off. I'm going to bring Ryan back, and I played high school soccer, and I'm not promising that this is going to go well or that everything in the studio is going to not break, but Ryan, come on in, and we're going to see who can juggle longer. And on the pitch, we will keep a running tally. So here we go. I'm going to start. All right, what was that, seven? <laughs> All right, seven. <laughs> I could have kept going, I feel like, but I didn't want to break the only monitors that we just got fixed. So if you feel like you're going to lose control, I'll guard the monitors and you, uh, and you take it from there. One, two, three, four. Oh, one more try, one more try. Thanks, coach. And move over here so we can get you on camera. Here we go. Five, six. Oh, we'll give him seven. We'll give him seven. It's a tie on the first ever juggle off on On the Pitch. That's going to do it. Thanks for joining us here. We'll see you next time on WOSN.